Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time. So listen, I know a lot of you guys are having issues with learning uh, how to use JavaScript, okay? And sometimes I see you guys trying to tackle big ass projects, okay? And I'll be honest with you. The first thing that you need to start doing is small little things, okay? Small little projects, small little goals to get you to understand JavaScript, okay? My advice, this is the, the pathway that I want you guys to take is, first of all, you need to start learning how to work with click events or event listeners, right? Like little simple things, right? You start saying, okay, what if I have a div with the class of button, right? How do I get that div, right? By either an ID or a class. And then from there, when I click on that button, I want the background to change red, right? So something simple like that. Now, some of you guys might say, Joe, well, people don't get hired for that, right? People don't get hired for learning to change the background red. They learn and they get hired to basically start doing React, Angular, Vue.js, and all these other things, right? And, and that's true. But you got to understand the basics, the fundamentals, okay? You got to understand how to work with the DOM, okay? So you got to start with small little things like that. Okay, you click on a button, right? Something happens, all right? You hover above something, something else happens, okay? It could be a console log. It could be you changing the background. You could be changing the width of an element, right? Little things like that, that's what you need to be learning with in the beginning, okay? Then from there, once you understand how to work with the DOM, how to manipulate it, the DOM is just the same way how you manipulate it with CSS. And you say, okay, I want to make the width this height. I want to make this uh, this width, etc. right? Think of JavaScript like how CSS is, right? You have elements and you can target them and you can actually go in and change the, the elements themselves, okay? And then you have event listeners where it, it basically listens for any type of event, a click event, a hover event, uh, unfocus event, an active event, uh, submit event, right? So there's a whole bunch of different events that you can trigger on your page. All right. So knowing those basic concepts can take you very, very far. Now, the next thing, once you understand those little basic things and you have like little projects like that, okay, the next thing that you want to do is you want to start working with Ajax. Now, I always recommend people to start with Ajax uh, when you start doing some jQuery. And some might say, Joe, but why should I use jQuery when I could be doing this with, you know, vanilla JavaScript? Bro, doing things with vanilla JavaScript is more harder to, to understand for a beginner. I'm telling you because I was there, right? A guy that goes in and says, well, I'm learning everything vanilla, the vanilla way, right? He's going to have a longer journey, okay? Now, I went that long journey, and I realized this was stupid. I could have just learned this with uh, jQuery. I could have learned this with Axios. I could have learned this with the Fetch API. I could have learned how to work with this thing, right? Instead of trying to do it the vanilla way, XHR and all this extra stuff like it's too much boilerplate, too much to write, okay? So my advice is to just use jQuery, right? Just to practice, you know, practice with Ajax, okay? Doing a get request from an API, doing a, a post request from an API. Those little things can get you very far, okay? How to get uh, information from the query params, right? Little things like that can actually add up to the bigger picture when you start learning things like uh, React, Angular, Vue.js, etc. All right. Now, of course, you also need some fundamentals of objects. Right. Understand how objects work. All right. So go in there, uh, learn how to remove a property, add a property, update a property inside of an object. Right. How to uh, set up your data. Uh, right, so you could say, hey, if I have an array and I have an array with multiple objects inside of it, how do I target each one of them? How do I update each one of them? 
right? And if you want to go a little bit farther, how do you keep this immutable? Now, that might be later on in, in your career, something that you might want to learn, keeping your, your data sets in, in, immutable. But at the end of the day, it's just, it's a process, all right? It's a process that you have to go through. Okay, it starts with very simple things on the DOM, right? Very, very simple things. Things that somebody will say, oh, this is stupid, right? But this is just practice. This is for you to start putting things together, okay? Because when you look at a website and you go to, like, let's say a website that's on aawards.com, right? When you go there, you, you go to that website and you say, oh, my God, this website has so many animations. This website has so many cool things. Like, how do you do this with JavaScript, right? Those guys did not learn making those things right away. It took a whole year, two years, three years. It's a process of understanding how the DOM works, understanding how to manipulate it. And then from there, once you understand all of those things, now you can build whatever you want okay stop killing yourself out here stop trying to make crazy big ass projects and you still don't know the fundamentals okay start with the small things create a drop down right create a, a small slider okay uh, create uh, some type of uh, table right that you can get data from an API okay sort that data okay like little things like that this was going to really uh, be handy and it's going to help you out, you know, over the years as a developer, especially with JavaScript. Okay. Now, if you're looking to learn how to code, guys, you already know, uh, go to codingface.com. I'll teach you all of these things. I'll teach you in this process where I give you small little projects and then from there we build uh, bigger projects that, you know, will take all of your skills that you've learned over time. Okay, now for example, some people might say, Joe, uh, I'm doing the e commerce course, right? Uh, and I'm working on that, right? My advice is don't work on that unless you haven't done, uh, unless you, you've done all the other uh, courses that's there, right? And why do I say that? It's because everything on my website is built upon a previous course, okay? So for example, if I come in and I teach you, about e-commerce, I'm not teaching you about Ajax, right? If we're talking about Node.js, I'm not teaching you about, uh, you know, anything else as far as like HTML pages or template engines. I'm, I, we're not talking about that. We're already past that. If you didn't take the Node.js course, right, and you missed out on the whole thing, it's like by the time you get to the e-commerce course, you're like, wait, hold on, you're supposed to be uh, knowing all of those things, okay? So that's how I like to teach it. So people could come in, follow the timeline, go in, you know, course by course. The things that you know already, skip it. The things that you don't know, go and watch it, okay? This is not a race. This is a marathon, okay, guys? This is not a race where everybody's trying to get there as soon as possible without knowing anything. No, it's like you need to know all of the fundamentals before you're able to start building bigger projects okay so i want you guys to take advantage of that so if you like i said if you want to go and learn uh how to code trust me i can teach you this go to codingphase.com it's the easiest way to learn javascript uh php uh, node.js react okay everything that's out there pretty much everything is going to get you hired i don't waste my time i don't teach you things that is not going to get you paid right let's just say that if you if there's not a bag for you i'm not teaching it okay right this is not for me to be like let me elevate your mind right i don't do that you go and find somebody else to do that what i do is i pretty much teach you the things that's going to get you hired and the things that you need to get uh that job because that's what uh, a owner cares about. That's what a project manager cares about. That's what H, uh, you know, uh, HR cares about is can this guy hit the ground running? And that's what I try to prepare you for. All right. So anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Hopefully you like this video. Please, guys, leave a couple of questions on this video below if you have any questions. I will be answering. As you guys can see, I'm on vacation right now. But... I want to answer questions every single day. I want to do like two, three videos per day where I'm answering questions for you guys. All right. So let's get ready. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe. Back at it again. Peace.